I said yes to becoming an artist because you're always going to surprise yourself. You can never anticipate what you're going to make. I don't know what I'm going to be making in 10 years, next month. It feels very exciting. You know, it really like could kind of go anywhere. My name is Emily Zuck and I am a 2022 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. The way that I begin a painting is basically always starts with rearranging things in my studio and putting things places and seeing how things work together. All of the interesting objects that I have here came from Barb Golden's barn. She let me go through it and take whatever I wanted, so I ended up with this really beautiful, eclectic collection of objects. Slowly, they've been coming into still lives. Mirrors are something I use often in my work. I just like the way that they reflect the space and create this kind of sense of spatial confusion and have the viewer not necessarily be able to know where they are. And then the other thing I was really enjoying about this one is the shadows and reflections that are being created. You can see on that kind of table how many different kind of areas of a little bit more light, a little bit more shadow, the reflected light kind of being cast from the mirror onto the table. I've been working on this only at night, so you can tell from the color. That's me. And then those are my legs. So the mirrors, if you set them up right, will break figures apart and do things that are kind of strange and interesting and, and maybe a little bit um, disturbing in some sense. I think I gave myself freedom to experiment. Experimenting with shaped surfaces has been really interesting and something that I haven't done before. I think for me, experimentation kind of happens in increments. It's not necessarily going from point A like all the way to point Z. I've been pushing myself into different directions and gonna see how it ends up integrating into my studio when I'm back. It's been great sharing the space with Christy and Erica, getting to know them, getting to see their work, getting to talk to them like a sense of community. That's one of my favorite things about residencies. My name is Erica Whitney and I am a 2022 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. I started with making these plaster paintings. I would pour plaster onto wood and kind of like onto a wood panel, but I realized that was really fragile and brittle and heavy even. And so I wanted to continue having a surface that was really nice and smooth like the plaster, but also weird shaped and wonky and something that I like didn't fully control. Um, and so I figured like, oh, plaster cloth is a thing. I can do that. That's how I got there. <laughs> So the stuffing is important because there's always been history or like layering to my paintings. If I make a painting and like I make like a drawing underneath it or something, like only I know about that. And there's this like kind of energy that happens. So having materials that I've used that I like kind of know the history behind them is interesting and exciting and I feel like feeds into the painting. This piece is another stuffed painting, but with like a sculptural element added to it. I'm excited about this one. This is kind of like a shape that I like comes up a lot in my work. I just wanted to bring it out into, you know, the round. So this is also just wadded up paper towel with a tape wrapped around it. This is my tester wall. Everything that I have hanging, I'm using it as kind of like inspiration for something. Some of these things I made during the technicals and some of them is what I made when I came back and was excited about the material we learned about. In the first week I hung up this large canvas and I knew that it would change a lot over the time that I've been here and it has. It started with just like a lot of fluorescence in the background. Then I decided to tape it up. I added some high flow marker shapes to it and then I painted it kind of over all of it and then I didn't like that. <laughs> and so then I covered it again, I just scraped into it and then I was like, okay, like that's starting to work. And so there's some really exciting parts that I'm really excited about. Something that I think I'll take with me once I get back to my studio at home is continuing to have that openness to material, not getting stuck in that one familiar thing and like just realizing that I can do all these different things within a painting. 
just like that sense of exploration. My name is Christy Rinklin, and I am a 2022 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. Being open to what your environment gives you is a key takeaway from doing any kind of residency in any kind of space. So for instance, with this painting here, the study that I had done for this painting that I had planned out was a completely different image. And then after a big rainstorm, the light was this crazy, diffused, eerie green. And I took a bunch of photographs and I switched the image to what was right outside the window. Being able to make a change according to something that you see that you're inspired by, it's important to be open to those kinds of discoveries, those kinds of moments. I had been working on pores in my studio, experimenting with them, going directly on the painting and really not getting always the results I wanted. That was one of the things I wanted to really work with here. And when I met with the tax with Stacy, she said, well, why don't you do skins? So I started doing some of these skins here in the space on these big tables and uh, just did an experiment where I started cutting them up into shapes and collaging with them and realized that the pores held together, but they're also really nice and thin. So when I cut them into a shape, I can get a really seamless transition between one area and the other. So that was this kind of crazy game changer for me. <laughs> I started to think about this idea of how we capture and save memory, especially when we think of like the landscape snapshot. Like that's something that everybody does. And these things get posted on social media, but they also become this little piece of memory that we're holding on to that's intangible and that's fugitive, but even the landscape itself, you know? So I think about the environment and the fact that the environment is so rapidly changing and this fugitive idea starts to seep through everything. One of the things that's really unique about the residency is working with the material specialist up at the factory and being able to try everything that Golden has to offer. It's been fun to just end up producing these very like loose and free uh, pieces that are different from my work, but also incorporate all the same processes. So they become these like beautiful little test pieces. Being able to do these while I'm working on the more complex paintings is something that's very relaxing, it's something that's very freeing, and it's also something that's very informative to my work. Having a very intense month of painting, being able to come in whenever you want and you know make a big decision or a small decision is, is pivotal. You know, I think things happen in a, an accelerated period of time, which um, makes big shifts happen rapidly. I'm starting to discover some new work coming out of me that I wasn't expecting. And that's really exciting. I think that's really, really significant. <laughs>